so today I thought I'd sit here and um, talk you through this engine. So this is a V-twin solenoid motor. Um, you've seen in the previous video I've made a single cylinder solenoid motor. Well this is a, a V-twin um, single pin crank uh, and designed to be Originally, th the thought was to sound like a, a Harley Davidson. We'll we'll hear what it sounds like in a minute when it when it runs. Um, it's a bit clanky, but um, also it's four stroke. So you'll see here that there's gears on the crank, and then there are gears that drive two cams. Um, so the crank uh, rotates once. These cams rotate half a turn. So it's so it's a two to one. I say four stroke, but it's not four stroke because it's electric, but it effectively operates the cams every second revolution. And then as it's single pin, what we get is we get a we get a firing of one solenoid and then the second solenoid, and then we get nothing for a while. So it's a bit of a hit and miss, um just like a Harley Davidson. Um now these cams you can see here, um they operate little push rods, and those push rods operate little micro switches with little tiny little metal springs here that, that then push and operate the switches. And when that closes, that switches the power supply onto that coil and energizes that coil. When that coil gets energized, it it attracts the magnet within the, the piston through the center of the solenoid here, the, the coiled stator. So if we use a power supply, switch the power supply on, um, we'll have to probably put the voltage up to sort of 20, uh, let's, let's try that, turn up the maximum current, let's try that. 19 volts should be fine. Um, what we have is we have two points banana plug sockets on the rear of the, uh, the engine mat. And then if I just close the switch on this, there we are, it's just about running. Uh, going to have to push that voltage up a bit, I think. There you are. And it's running. So, not running very fast. Fairly low current supplied by this. Probably needs a better power supply to actually be able to give you that. And it, as I said, it's running four strokes, so it's running quite slow. Um, and you see, so it's only energised every second revolution. Interestingly, as you see, the, the whole engine is built with metal and wood. There's bearings in the main crank. Um, the crankshaft itself is made from steel and with a brass uh, web on the back and with a steel pin. There's tiny little bearings in the, uh, in the con rods. And then the, the, this motor with the V section itself is mounted in a cradle. So you can see the cradle here. That's just stopped. So. Let's just put it back down and just run it again. Oh, there you are. You can see where it. And if we look up from the side here, you can see these cams operating. So you see this cam operate, and then that, as I said, energizes the coil and drives the solenoid. The engine on this little cradle is mounted on two points. Uh, and that's isolated. There's a little bit of rub there's a rubber bushing in there just to isolate it. Um, meant to look a bit like a motorbike, the bottom of a motorbike frame and a, a frame it could sit in. And you'll see these are plywood laminations that, that makes the main bulk of the of the actual structure for the V. And that V, this wooden structure sits around what is a crank case, but it's actually just a piece of tube that sits through the centre of the wood at the bottom here and holds the bearing, the bond bearing on the back and one bearing on the front, with the gears being operated with an opening in that 
in that crankcase, in that piece of tube there. It's quite pleasant, would sit on your desk quite happily and run, probably all day. It just get a little bit warm on the coils, but they're not, they're not hot. So that's my Harley Davidson V-Twin. Check out the website, subscribe, and then you can follow more of my engines as I uh, post them on YouTube and, uh, and my website and uh, other places. Thank you.